Hi, I'm Sarah Gunn, and I'm gonna give you a tour of our main floor open plan living, dining room, and kitchen. Or as I'm calling it these days, home office, restaurant. Hey guys, supper's ready. And classroom. So when I first moved into this house, what I was most drawn to were all of the windows. It was really bright and airy in here. However, all the finishes were really dark from the floor to the kitchen cabinets and it just really weighed down the space a lot. Because the kitchen's open to the living and dining room, I decided to decorate all three of these rooms at the same time. The dining room didn't need that much attention, but as you can see here, the living room had seen better days. I'd kind of just pulled furniture from other parts of the house to make it work while I was waiting to decide how I really wanted this space to function. Painting out our kitchen cabinets in this bright white and soft blue, swapping the countertops for this lighter option definitely made our kitchen more beautiful, but it didn't address the issue of lack of storage. We built a bench at the end of the counter along the wall to house small appliances that we don't use every day and some larger pantry items. But I also wanted a place to display all of my favorite collections. And that's where this cabinet comes in. I absolutely love that it's got drawers at the bottom because again, our kitchen only had three. And it's got the open glass doors at the top so I can look at all of my pretty things every day. I didn't do much to change the dining room other than add this new patterned rug to tie in with the color scheme that I started in the kitchen. Originally, my dream for this wall in the living room was to build floor to ceiling built-ins, but that just was not in our budget. Instead, I found these IKEA cabinets. They were the perfect length when I grouped four of them together to span the entire length of the wall, and they offer a ton of storage. Behind those closed doors, we've got our massive board game collection, video game equipment, extra blankets for snuggling up on the couch, and just a kind of mishmash of other items that I need access to, but that I just don't want to look at every day. You might think that a small space requires a small sofa, but I cannot disagree with that more. This beauty, also from Ikea, fits perfectly into our living room, and it is genuinely the most comfortable thing I've ever sat, worked, or napped on. And my favorite thing about it is that it's slip covered, so you can remove that anytime you need to and give it a wash. Once the space was brightened, the storage was added, and the comfort was found, then came my favorite part, the styling. And one of my favorite ways to accessorize any space is a vase of faux greenery. into our main floor makeover is going to inspire you to tackle your own. Are we allowed back in the kitchen yet? I guess so.